The last time I was here, I went on out to an iron path through Rickson's Cove to Williams Harbor that way. But now I'm gonna go to Johnny's Green's path. We had a lot of mild weather, so uh, you know the turn could be getting bad this time of year. Pickham's Cove, Gilbert's Bay. The last time we was here, we hauled the boat on out past Shinny's there. That's after breaking up and refreezing again. There's almost too much ice here now to get the boat out. Things change a lot in a short period of time. Well guys, it's a grey foggy day here in Williams Harbor, but we just checked the edge of the ice there. There's no way to get a speedboat out here to, today. Uh, too much ice to steam through and not enough for actually to haul the boat over to go further. So, so a uh, little change of plans, no big deal. There's open water up in Captain Jack's Tickle, you know, and there's always a few ring seals up there. So we're going to tow the boat up there at once. There's a little bit of wind that's supposed to drop out, and this fog, I, I say, is going to burn off now later on. But we're going to tow the boat up there, and uh, you want the boat there because once you shoot a seal there in the tickle, you want to get it as tidy, so you want to be able to get the seal fast. You, you shoot a seal, and then got to come back and get the boat or whatever, and the time you get up, there's no seal. You got up in another ice. So, uh, so anyway, we're going to have a day here in Williams Harbor. Uh, Gonna have to cut this hunt short. I was gonna have a couple of days here, but it's calling for freezing rain tomorrow. So what happens today happens today. Let's hope we get some seal meat. Oh, oh. <laughs> seal on over there we got the boat right ready just got to come in range and he's coming keep coming <laughs> Coming a little closer all the time.
Those like hundred daddles red to water too, boy. Just come along the toy. All right, Travis starting there. He's gonna go 500 meters, half a kilometer, and then turn. We just want to get the range on it there. Enjoy some banana bread here now while I'm waiting. What a view! Yes, sir. We used to climb up here on a snowmobile all the time when we were living here. So this hill be tore right up all along here. It's pretty steep here too. Yeah, and we used to slide down there sometimes. And if you got a good run, you go down over a big hill, across Schools Hill, and down over the bank again, and end up right on down by the houses there. Yeah, it'd be a, be a nice run. <laughs> yeah, beautiful day. Beautiful day. tracks <laughs> there's a crack opened up right there a little bit of water uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you see a seal along there later today if you got one there you know it'd be worth getting a small boat out for that's a, a benchmark there uh, from the Canadian Hydrographic Service and there's a couple or one in on the Gumbel Wharf there there's a couple in on the point right there Yep, like I said, we always come out here to get a view back at the community. Yes, sir. Looks good. Looks real good. They used to have a, a a shack on top of that rock there, that flat top of the rock. Yeah, so they had a small shack here and he was secured here, uh, had ring bolts in that here, you know, so it wouldn't blow off. <laughs> I imagine you get some strong winds here at time and he had a great view for any ships, you know, coming across from, from Europe. Francis Harbor was a important place one time, you know, next most important place north of Battle Harbor. Uh, I showed this in a video long ago. Me and I brought the kids, wife and kids up here. But I said, uh, since I'm in the area, I'll drop in now for, for a lookout. <laughs> I was looking, there's a hole of water, a little tiny hole of water there, line. And that sure looks like seals in that noise there. And yeah, a few seals around, was just hard, just gonna be hard to get at them. trip back to Williams Harbor you know it's always great to get back there but I was hoping to harvest a seal but no luck there 
but I'll get a lot of opportunities later on, especially when we get the Bellini server uh, working on air crab gear. But before I go, I want to have a little giveaway. Now, I'm going to try to get through this a little bit quick for now. But I had a package from uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft, and they sent this ferro rod and striker, little pouch, some fire plugs. These are uh, waterproof and windproof. They last up to five minutes. They sent uh, sent an extra striker and a little tin to put some of those fire plugs in. So I'm going to have a giveaway. What I'm going to do? I'm going to give away a Labrador flag. I'm going to sign this flag. Never give a flag away in a while, so. That's a real special item there. Uh, a deck of playing cards here, never open. And since uh, Bigfoot Bushcraft gave me this ferro rod, I'm going to give you my old ferro rod and striker. He also sent along an extra striker. You're going to get that one as well. And these fire plugs, I'll show these uh, when I do the dry, but these little fire plugs are waterproof. And you bend them back and forth and rub them around a little bit and then you flick a few sparks on them and you light real easy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this tin full of fire plugs and or, well I'll keep roughly half and the other half will go into dry as well. Uh, you know when they sent me this stuff well I told buddy like uh, I used to use natural materials like birch bark and things like that. But I think these be really good, especially in an emergency situation with a waterproof net. Say if I had these on my skidoo or, or in my pocket and I got wet in the water or whatever, I'd be able to go and tear one of them apart, you know, and get a fire going kind of easy. But uh, but I guess that's it for this one. Uh, like I said, when I do the draw, I'll show more on this stuff then. But for now, just let you know what you could win. And all you got to do is be a subscriber hit the like button and I just want you to tell me what uh, your your favorite video from my channel is and why you like that video and that's all you got to do and uh, I, I try to keep it a bit small here too so I can put it in an envelope or whatever and send it off and I'm just going to let this run for a few days and then I'll have to dry I don't really set time I'm busy this time of year and whenever I get a chance after a few days uh, I'll do the dry and there's going to be some lucky person out there who will get this coming in the mail. So I encourage everyone to uh, give it a go. Uh, but I guess that's it for this one, guys. Really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land.